Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for SOAP UI. So, let's get started. Question number 1. What is SOAP UI? The answer is. SOAP UI is an open source web service testing application for service oriented architectures and representational state transfers. Its functionality covers web service inspection, invoking, development, simulation and mocking, functional testing, load and compliance testing. Question number 2. What is SOAP UI Pro? The answer is, SOAP UI Pro is paid version of SOAP UI. It has more functions and facilities for API testing as compared to the bare minimum SOAP UI. Question number 3. How does SOAP UI check REST API? The answer is. SOAP UI checks REST API by importing REST service in SOAP UI by using WADL files. Besides, SOAP UI Pro supports the Open API, Swagger and RAML formats. Question number 4. What is REST API versus SOAP? The answer is, SOAP is a protocol and it uses the service interface. Whereas, REST is an architectural style. It uses URIs. SOAP can be stateful and stateless. While REST is usually stateless. Question number 5. Why SOAP is more secure? The answer is, SOAP is more secure due to inherent security related features. SOAP supports WS security for enterprise level protection. SOAP can be less secure if not properly designed and implemented. Question number 6. Can SOAP use JSON? The answer is, SOAP can use JSON. But it will be overkill, as SOAP strictly uses XML, so by default cannot use JSON. Question number 7. What is the difference between SOAP and HTTP? The answer is, the difference between SOAP and HTTP is. SOAP is an XML-based encoding of messages, which can be sent over HTTP, SMTP and FTP. Whereas, HTTP is hypertext transfer protocol, that can transfer different data types like images, text and many more. Question number 8. What is the purpose of SOAP in a web service? The answer is. The purpose of SOAP in a web service is to provide standardization by using XML, defined security as per WS security, defined data exchange, extensibility, neutrality and independence. Question number 9. Does the Postman support SOAP? The answer is, Postman supports SOAP. We can make any HTTP SOAP request using Postman by giving the SOAP endpoint as the URL. Question number 10. What is the difference between UI and API? The answer is, UI is user interface or software, through which the user interacts with the application. Whereas, API expands to application programming interface or it is an interface for communication amongst separate software systems. Question number 11. What is the RPC method in SOAP? The answer is, RPC is the remote procedure calls method and SOAP are essentially client-server interactions over HTTP where the request and response comply with SOAP encoding rules. The request URI in HTTP is typically used at the server end to map to a class or an object, but this is not mandated by SOAP. SOAP defines a uniform model for representing an RPC and its return value or values. Question number 12. What is API testing? The answer is. API testing is a type of software testing that involves testing APIs directly and also as a part of integration testing to check whether the API meets expectations in terms of functionality, reliability, performance, and security of an application. In API testing our main focus will be on a business logic layer of the software architecture. API testing can be performed on any software system which contains multiple APIs. API testing won't concentrate on the look and feel of the application. API testing is entirely different from GUI testing. Question number 13. Can a SOAP service be RESTful? The answer is. SOAP only works with XML formats whereas REST work with plain text, XML, HTML and JSON. SOAP cannot make use of REST whereas REST can make use of SOAP. Question number 14. What is a WSDL URL? The answer is. WSDL URL is the endpoint of WSDL. If the web service has already been deployed and exposed to the external world, then you should request the web service developer for the WSDL URL. Otherwise, if the developer shared the WSDL file directly, then you need to check the given element. Question number 15. Is WSDL required for SOAP? The answer is. 
The WSDL generator component is not essential for using SOAP. Administrators can still write service calls to the content server in SOAP if needed. The WSDL generator provides flexibility in altering existing client applications. Question number 16. What is a test case in manual testing? The answer is. A test case in manual testing refers to a group of actions done to verify a function or feature of software under test. An example test case in manual testing can be checking output by software when invalid login details are given, an error screen comes up. The test case will need details like username, password and conditions for success and failure and henceforth, result. Question number 17. What is a JSON API? The answer is. JSON API expands to JavaScript Object Notation API, which is an encoding scheme storing data as key value pairs or ordered lists of values. JSON API module exposes an implementation for data stores and data structures, such as entity types, bundles, and fields. Question number 18. Which is the best tool for API testing? The answer is. The best tools for API testing are many like, SOAP UI, Postman, JMeter. It depends upon the testing requirements for the selection of appropriate tools for API testing. Question number 19. What is third-party API? The answer is. Third-party APIs are APIs provided by third parties that allow you to access their functionality via JavaScript and use it on your site. One of the most obvious examples is using mapping APIs to display custom maps on your pages. Question number 20. How does an API work? The answer is. An application programming interface, API, is a particular set of rules and specifications that a software program can follow to access and make use of the services and resources provided by another particular software program that implements that API. It serves as an interface between different software programs and facilitates their interaction, similar to the way the user interface facilitates interaction between humans and computers. Question number 21. How do I access API? The answer is. Access API is done by API request with a common shared API key. Requester sends API key and its request. Receiver validates as per API key and responds to the request. Other types of encryption can also be used as in SOAP by WS Security. Question number 22. What is REST API and how it works? The answer is. REST stands for Representational State Transfer and is an architectural style that has become increasingly popular in scalable web applications. A RESTful web service generally infers much less emphasis on strict formatting, and typically uses JSON formatted data in message bodies instead of XML, though much in a RESTful web service is left up to the designers to decide. Question number 23, why RESTful web services are stateless? The answer is, as per REST architecture definition, a RESTful web service should not keep a client state on the server hence, it is by a design stateless. Question number 24, how to write test scripts in SOAP UI? The answer is, to write test scripts in SOAP UI, SOAP UI provides extensive options for scripting, using either Groovy or JavaScript, since SOAP UI 3.0, as its scripting language, which to use is set at the project level in the project details tab at the bottom left. Question number 25, how to test ASMX web service in SOAP UI? The answer is, ASMX enables simple object access protocol, based messaging facility to web services. To test ASMX web service in SOAP UI, click the option create SOAP project or create a new one as file, new SOAP project. Mention the URL in the initial WSDL field, in the dialog box which appears. Leave the default settings and click OK. Question number 26, how to create a test suite in SOAP UI? The answer is, to create a test suite in SOAP UI, either from the project pop-up menu, new test suite, or with a specific button on top of the list of test suites. Question number 27, how do I import files into SOAP UI? The answer is, to import an existing project file from your computer. Select File, Import Project. Specify a path to the project XML file or click browse and navigate to the file manually. Click OK. Question number 28. How to generate an HTML report using SOAP UI free version? The answer is. SOAP UI supports the output of basic HTML reports by the command line. 
Junit Style HTML Report can be generated by selecting the Junit Style HTML Report option in the Report Format drop-down in SOAP UI. If you need a detailed HTML report, enable a checkbox for the Junit Style Report which output an XML report which can be used along with XSLT for conversion to HTML. Question number 29, How to call SOAP UI Mock Service from Java? The answer is, to call SOAP UI Mock Service from Java. Use the SOAP service mocking facility in SOAP UI by either using Groovy or configuring the SOAP service mocking in SOAP UI Pro. Question number 30, is REST a protocol? The answer is, REST is not a protocol. REST is an architecture style for a stateless, caching client server distributed media platform. REST can be implemented by any protocol but has been implemented by HTTP. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.